everybody uh, if you want to follow me and see what I'm up to today uh, just keep watching so it's only been well, maybe a week since I planted my garlic and already I've got four that have come up so it would have been the, the right time yep so just four I can see it was, that was very quick germination it must have been just ready And those ones would have been the one out of that huge bulb, bulb um, that I split up. So that's a good sign. Hopefully they grow really well. And I'll just keep an eye on the rest of them. They'll pop up when they're ready. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I thought I might just try and see if I can harvest uh, some of these worm towers. Uh, it looks like it's really ready. It's just like basically clay. So I just a bit of sun out today. So hopefully I can try and just get the sun to work in my favour and get them to start moving sort of down to the bottom. And I can just sort of scoop off what I can. Sorry, my shadow's in the way there. I'll just do one tray at a time. I did put a whole carrot in there. It's, it's not that good. <laughs> It'll stay longer to break down. I'll pull that out for now. So I've just managed to scoop out a small shovel full there of worms. And I can see in here, you can see that. I'm going to hopefully gently as I can scoop as much of that out as I can. Yep, they're enjoying that carrot and other bits of food scraps I put in there. Very nice. certainly bred up in this bin anyway this is just one tray full so I'll just have a look in this tray and see what we have in here the carrot trying to sprout again I know you meant to chop these up really small but I'll just chuck them in there just to see what's going on here There's not a shortage of worms in there, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'll just yeah, scoop all that out. That can go in there as well. Some sort of string here of some sort, but uh all the worms are clinging onto it, so I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, well, if I can get a few scoops off the top with very minimal worms in them, um, I can just mix that just in my garden there. Some of the garden beds. You're never actually going to get every single worm out anyway. Um, not with the abundance of sort of cocoons and that. They'll all breed up, hatch, and uh, yeah, easy enough to get them out. Well, I'm going to have to say that this tray is basically full of worms all throughout. I think maybe they all might have hopefully migrated down from the, the trays of, above it. So I can't really sift through this. It is a little bit, um, it won't go through the sifter. And I think this one might all just have to get mixed in the garden and then I can lure them all out again with another little bucket full of cow manure and some 
uh, straw, mix that in, and um, I should be able to scoop them all out again. That's the easiest way to do it, I think. So I've just left this for uh, a day and to see if I can just start scooping off some of this lovely compost and pop it in that bucket there without having to sift it because it's still a little too uh, wet to be sifting anything. So if I can just scoop off the top and uh, it's not a very deep tray and if I can get most of the worms just to go down to the bottom. I'm probably going to still get a couple of worms in there, but that's okay. And then I could just start mixing this in my garden. I haven't started to plant any seeds yet. I don't know if the camera really does it justice, but this is really dark, rich material there. And what I've done underneath is I've just put another container with straw and cow manure in here. And I'm just trying to lure out the rest of the worms. Oh, yep. Some in there already from this big tub. So then I can just try and dry the other stuff out a little bit better. But it certainly seems like there's worms in there already. A good method. It's still feeling a little bit, a bit too wet in there, so I won't give it a few more days. Hopefully, they've all migrated in there. Just makes the job a bit easier. So what I've done here is this is my sweet potato. I planted that in this um, big tub here and I've covered it completely with this netting and just to try and keep out those mole crickets because I don't have much luck growing potatoes so the whole thing is just wrapped in this and it seems to be doing really well I don't know if you can see through there but there is a couple of flowers let's see if we can get a shot in there it's a couple of flowers it's obviously um, it's it's growing really well so it's even sprouted out here so time will tell so good luck with this pot and hopefully if it works I'll I'll do that again with just normal potatoes okay everyone we'll see you in the next video bye for now